Hello and welcome to another episode of Uncomplicated English with Mark, where we learn English through real life stories that are so interesting that you forget that you're studying. Today we are going to learn about the life of Queen Elizabeth II. Before we get started, as always, I would like to remind you that the entire transcript of this episode can be found for free on my website. Also, on my website, you can book one-to-one conversational English lessons with me. All right then, let's get started with today's episode. Often, when someone thinks about England or the United Kingdom, one of the first people they think about is the Queen of England. The current Queen of England is Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth was born in London on the 21st of April 1926. As the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, as a child, she was privately educated and taught at home. In the United Kingdom, the two main forms of schooling are private schooling and public schooling. Public schools are free and generally accept all kinds of students, whereas private schools cost money and are more selective of their students. Queen Elizabeth has one sibling. Princess Margaret, who is four years younger than her, and was born in 1930. As a young child, she loved horses and dogs. To this day, she is well known for her love of corgi dogs. Through her life, she has earned a total of 30 corgi dogs. As a young child, many marveled at how she seemed very mature and well behaved for her age. She was never really expected to become queen. She was third in line for the throne. This meant that her uncle was first in line and then her father was second in line for the throne. However, when the current king died and her uncle Edward was made king, she suddenly became second in line for the throne. In 1936, King Edward wanted to marry Wallace Simpson. Wallace Simpson was an American and had been divorced twice. This meant that the King Edward could not marry her and remain king. So he made a decision that shocked the world and decided that he would rather be married to her than be king. So he abdicated the throne. This means that he gave up his right to be king and passed it on to his younger brother Albert, who was Elizabeth's father. In September 1939, the Second World War started and it was suggested that Queen Elizabeth and her sister should be evacuated to Canada. This is because, at this time, the Nazis frequently bombed Britain. However, their mother refused, saying that they won't go without me, and I won't leave them without the king, and the king will never leave. In 1940, at the age of 14, she made her first radio broadcast. She aimed her message to the other children who had been evacuated from their homes. She said, We are all trying to do all we can to help our sailors, soldiers and airmen, and we are trying to, to bear our share of the danger and sadness of war. We know, every one of us, that in the end, all will be well. Towards the end of the war, she trained and successfully qualified as a driver and mechanic in the auxiliary territorial service. This was a woman's branch of the British Army. At the end of the war, on Victory in Europe Day, the Queen and her sister begged their father, the King, to let them go out amongst the celebrating crowds and celebrate amongst them. He let them, and they both went and celebrated with everyone, without being recognised as royalty. In 1947, it was announced that Queen Elizabeth was engaged to Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark. But this was a controversial engagement. Many looked down at Prince Philip. This means that they didn't see him as an equal to Elizabeth, that he wasn't worthy to marry Queen Elizabeth. Prince Philip was not rich. He was foreign-born, and some of his sisters had married Germans with Nazi links. The funny thing is, is that Philip himself had fought in the Second World War, serving in the Navy, fighting against the Nazis. 
Initially, Elizabeth's mother was not happy with the engagement. However, the two remained together and got married on the 20th of November 1947. Britain was so weakened by the war that even Elizabeth had to use ration tokens to buy the material that was needed to make her dress. Philip's three sisters were not allowed to attend the wedding because of their marriages to members of the German nobility. Elizabeth gave birth to their first child, Prince Charles, on the 14th of November 1948. Their next child, Princess Anne, was born in 1950. In 1951, Elizabeth's father, King George VI, health began to decline and in 1952 he passed away, whilst Elizabeth and Philip were on tour in Kenya. She was now the Queen of the United Kingdom. Throughout her time as Queen, she has travelled widely and has seen many of the countries that fall under the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is a group of countries that during their history have been a part of what was the British Empire. Many of these countries now have their own independence, but many have decided to stay a part of the Commonwealth. A few examples are places like Australia, Canada, South Africa, India, and many more. Currently, there are 53 countries in the Commonwealth. The Queen has often been warned during many of her visits that she would not be safe. For example, during a tour of Canada in 1964, many warned her that small groups of extremists were planning to assassinate her. However, she refused to cancel her tour and carried on. However, she has had some close calls. This means that there have been times where she was nearly injured by people that wanted to hurt her. In 1981, during a parade, six shots were fired at the Queen from close range while she rode her horse. The police later found out that a 17-year-old was responsible and had fired blank rounds at the Queen. Just a few months later, while she was visiting New Zealand, another 17-year-old called Christopher John Lewis fired at the Queen from the fifth floor of a building, but missed. He was later caught and spent three years in jail. In 2002, the Queen celebrated her Golden Jubilee. The Golden Jubilee celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Queen's ascension to the throne. She had now been the Queen for 50 years. As a result, there were many celebrations around the UK and in many other countries around the world. On the 4th of June, over a million people attended a parade at the Mall in London. A group of 5,000 adults and children from the 54 member states of the Commonwealth took part and each country handed the Queen what was called a Rainbow of Wishes. This was a collection of handwritten notes written to the Queen from the people of their countries. The parade finished with a fly-past of 27 different types of plane that flew low over London and Buckingham Palace. The Queen is quite well known for being a rather secretive person. She very rarely gives speeches and has always tried to remain a little distant from politics. This is because her position as Queen is mostly symbolic. This means she doesn't have any real power over the politics of the UK. She can't pick a Prime Minister and she can't remove a Prime Minister if she doesn't like them. Within the UK, she is relatively well liked and many people still want Britain to continue having a monarchy. A monarchy is a government that has kings, queens, princes and all that kind of stuff. That's all for today. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, I'd like to remind you that the full transcript of this episode can be found for free on my website at www.uncomplicatedenglish.com. Also, on my website, I offer one-to-one conversational English lessons. 
Thank you very much for listening today. I look forward to seeing you next week for the next episode.